Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome Miss Cherries and thank you for clicking this video. Today I'll be doing my first impressions and also makeup tutorials of the new Huda Beauty Wild Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I purchased three out of four. The other one, I think that's only exclusive for um, Huda's website. I got three um, Obsessions palettes in here. They retail for $29 each. Um, they are made in China with a shelf life of, I think, 24 months. So I'm going to read the description while showing you guys the inside because the embossing, the Python embossing on each palette, so, so, so beautiful. And the shimmers are also very, very beautiful. So while I'm showing you guys the palettes, I'm going to read the description. So a highly pigmented mini eyeshadow palette featuring nine velvety complementary hues in five delectable finishes to suit every taste and occasion. This palette is cruelty free. The nine shades in this palette have looks, innovative textures that look unreal on everyone from suede soft mattes to complementary metallics, sparkly and full to one never before seen multi reflected 3D embossed Python Perrin. So. Baby mats blend seamlessly, the mercure metallics, extra glam, the high drama full metallics, bring color dimension, versatile, super buildable, easy blendable, formula applies like a dream with minimal fallout whether you use a brush or your fingers. So I'm going to show you guys the packaging you see, it shifts. Oh my god, so beautiful, her packaging, so so beautiful and even the job work. So I'm gonna use the job wear last. I really wear I know very I mean bright makeup look, so I'm gonna do something different today. I'm gonna use the green one last. So I'm gonna use the chameleon and color stories. I like these two colors. The color stories of these are so so beautiful. This looks pretty, I mean it's okay, but these two oh so 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 beautiful. So I'm gonna do the uh, I'm going to do makeup tutorials. I'll be using the chameleon on my uh, right side and Jaguar, which is the um, cool tone um, eyeshadow palette. This one it's also a beautiful color story, and I also like the purple. Oh my god, a purple cool purple shade. You know I love my purple shades. Um, let me get my brush. I'm taking this uh, yellow orange shade as my transition shade this is the rougher number um what is this 16 brush it's like really really nice uh, blending brush because i have like no a lot of space on my head so this is like a perfect size for um for my eye shape this one i'm gonna um uh, let me it's a little chalky this color, this orange um, shade. Okay. So I'm gonna take this um, orange matte shade with the refer number um, 15 brush. Next is this berry shade. I'm using the um, refer number 14 brush. It's a definer brush. Ooh. Mm. Let's see if this is patchy because usually like berry shades are really really patchy most of the time. But this one beautiful. This is very nice. No skipping. Does it look patchy? Wow, I'm very impressed with this. I didn't expect anything from this one because this is like my least new favorite color story. But ooh, she's pretty. Next is this one right here. I think this is a mid. Oh, it gets very creamy. I went all the way close to my inner corner. So I'm going to use this yellow. I'm going to get a Python embossing. Oh, so beautiful. I'm gonna apply this one on my inner corner. This is a sheer um, metallic shade like they, um, they describe it on the website. Okay. 
So next, I'm going to use the Jaguar, which a lot of people really, really like. I also really like the cover story of this. So I'm going to use um, Huda Beauty Brush. This one from the Nori Nude Collection. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This purple, golden purple, so beautiful. Excuse me, I'm about to burp. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm taking this um, cotton gray shade with a golden brush. I'm looking on my uh, monitor right now to make sure that my camera is not heating up. Cause, oh my god, because it has been so so hot and my camera has been really like you no know, acting on lately. So. Just making sure that my camera is pretty good and it's recording. Dipping my brush to this um, brown um, shade just to add depth to the eyes. This is the Persona Cosmetics brush. This is a really, really nice brush from Persona. Works really, really good. And this um, brown shade, it's not, um, it's a little bit hard to work with. A little bit hard. Okay, let's see if this is gonna blend a little bit better. Not bad, but not my favorite. I think the brown shade from Chameleon was a little bit better in my opinion. So this one is like, it's sticking to my lid a little bit. So it's not moving good. So it made me the bit another one one more time but this is still pretty okay yeah, i'm gonna use this one on my inner half just gonna make sure that i'm not i don't go all the way oh this is pretty shimmery shade uh, olive almost like a, yeah olive green with a little bit of I thought, it, um, I thought it had like a gray undertone, but no. I'm going to use this um, purple, Colton purple shade. It has the Python um, embossment. So, so beautiful. And I'm going to apply Ooh, that is pretty. Oh my god. Sorry about that. So let me apply this again. Wow. That is pretty. It's a sheer, um, very shimmery, um, cotton purple shade. Wow. It's a sheer type of formulation, but oh my god, this is pretty. I'm gonna go back to this okay going back to this bl uh, brown shade because it's got faded I'm gonna apply the um, metallic green my eye looks are really messy right now I know I'm going to clean up both sides I'm going to apply um, the rest of my makeup off camera because um, I need to try this one again. It's dying. So um, I'll be right back with the last. Um, I'm most very excited about the green one, the Python one. So I'll be right back. I went ahead and I'm gonna apply this deep on shade, just only one shade. Um, on my inner corner. Um, the, I'll apply this yellow gold shade on my left side. Um, this dark brown shade. Um, which one here on my left side and in my inner corner I apply the same um, cotton purple this is so so beautiful cotton shade this is so beautiful all right so um very nice I really like both eye looks um, this side not my favorite color story but so very very nice so I'm going to do um, the, my last and final look okay, I'm going to remove both eye looks and I'll be right back. For the primer lids, I always use my makeup by Mario Primer, the shade medium. Now I'm going to use this Python green because I really wear you know colorful makeup looks. Um, I'm gonna um, start off with this um, 
light, very bright yellow, like neon yellow shade as my transition shade. This is a little, you know, chalky. Wow, pigmented. And then oh, I'm just gonna continue with this. So I'm gonna use this green shade to add dimension to the eyes. This color goes really, really well with the yellow and the yellow. I mean, I could say lime yellow shade. Oh, this is pretty. And I'm using this Beige Cosmetics, I think vegan, I think vegan brush. Love, love, love their um, vegan brushes. So next, I'm going to take this brown shade. I don't really like this brown. Maybe I'll use this orange shade again. Not again, but yeah, no. Maybe this brown shade, let's see. Maybe another darker green, I think would have been great. But I think this color is not bad at all with the green and the yellow. I'm going to use this, um, you know what, I'm going to use this blue green shade. This reminds me of the, uh, this color reminds me of the, um, What's the one? Oh, Dior Fall Collection that I really, really like. This is a very sheer, shimmery shade. But oh my god, this is beautiful. What well, I'm going to apply this one, just an inner, inner. Not inner, but outer half. I'm going to use my finger again. I'm going to apply this lime green, shimmery shade. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm stuck in my eye now. Oh, I'm very beautiful. I'm going to deepen it up, taking this brown shade again, and just add a little bit of depth to the eyes. So I'm going to do full slashes off camera. I'll be right back with my final thoughts of all three. Um, Wild Obsessions palettes. I did not to wear liquid liner because I wanted something for change. So very nice because I really wear um, I really wear bright makeup looks, especially green and shadows. Very very nice. Um, I'm ready to tell my final thoughts. I I mean I'm very impressed with these new obsession palettes because her obsession palettes are very very inconsistent. But these are so so good. I, mean, I did not have issues at all. Maybe a little bit. I mean, the dark brown shade, nothing too, you know, not, not a big deal. Just tiny tiny bit, but you know, still very workable. I'm very impressed with the mattes. The mattes are not very like creamy, you know, a little bit dry, but very 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 easy to blend. They are very pigmented, very easy to blend. Um, maybe the lime green. This one, just a tiny bit, you know, um, chalky, but still very, very nice, guys. I mean, I'm wearing this one as much as in shade. I mean, ugh, very nice. Wow, I am very impressed. The shimmers are also very pretty. I mean, they, um, they're not very pigmented shimmers. They're not very opaque. They are very sheer, shimmery shadows, but very, very beautiful. Uh, even in person, so beautiful, shimmery. Very nice. I am very impressed with these. These are like my favorite color stories. These two right here. Shh. I like the Wild Python, which I'm one I'm wearing today. These two. I highly recommend these two guys if you like green shadows and also cotton shades. So the uh, this one too. This is so so nice. This is my least favorite. I mean, I like this one too. The formulation is really good, but like my least favorite color story because I do not really like these type of colors, but formulation is there you know very very nice the shimmer is also nice the matte's very nice i mean just like my least favorite color story but overall these two 
not three these three are really really good i recommend these guys i mean these two right here so let me know guys if i tried um the new obsession palettes from huda what you guys think about these um new obsession palettes the color stories please comment down below and this is the end of my video please don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on my next one thank you guys thank you all so much for watching bye bye